Mets 2021. Their biggest pieces from last season's bullpen remain in place. Collectively, the group fared well. Adam Ottavino's numbers were skewed by a single bad game. And pitchers like Jonathan Loisega and Luis Sessa saw increased opportunities when Tommy Canely was lost to injury. One addition who could have an impact next year, Adam Warren, who just returned to the organization. So we just heard from Adam Ottavino with Meredith, and it reminded me, Flash, that the formula was supposed to be Ottavino, Britton, Chapman, and that changed during the course of the season where it was a lot more Chad Green. Yeah, Chad Green obviously stepped up a little bit, but Adam Ottavino, I mean, if you think about the way his year started and the way it ended, I mean, he was not a factor in the postseason. It seemed like maybe there, was a, there wasn't a whole lot of trust there, and I mentioned a lot last year that Adam Ottavino had such a hard time with the running game that you almost couldn't bring him in a situation either in the middle of an inning or a close game because it was just such an easy thing to exploit. I think if the Yankee bullpen is going to be where they want it to be next year, Adam Ottavino has to be better, but there also has to be some new additions, maybe some surprise names that we don't know about right now. Yeah, I think we're going to see a lot of arms in that bullpen because we've talked about with innings limits, who is going to be the guy or who are going to be the guys who step up and give the Yankees maybe something they didn't expect. I said this before the 2020 season. If you could just clone Chad Green, you'd love to have four or five of him in the bullpen. As far as Adovino goes, I appreciate his honesty with Meredith there. He absolutely struggled. That one bad game against Toronto did hurt him. But I also thought his slider wasn't as sharp as it had been in 2019. David Cohen always talks about the fact that you've got to show the hitter you're going to throw that slider for strikes. And he throws three versions of that pitch. But it can't just be a pitch that's going to be the one that's out of the zone. you got to show the hitter that you can throw it for a strike. And his slider wasn't as good in 20 as it was in 19. You know, one of my favorite times of the year is going to spring training and evaluating a new team. And one of the things I always look forward to talking to the pitching coaches about, who in the bullpen has surprised you? What names can I look forward to? Because it seems like every year with every good team, and I think about Tampa Bay when you think about good teams and good bullpens, there are always some surprises names maybe some reclamation projects that they found uh, on some cheap contracts Yankees have to get into that business where you have to bring in some people and make them a little bit better so they can be factors in your bullpen and not expensive factors I mentioned Loisega and Sessa more valuable in the rotation this year or in the bullpen well we'll see because Brian Cashman needs to add to that rotation I would think they're going to end up being more valuable in the bullpen because I just can't imagine the Yankees are going to stay status quo where they are right now in the rotation Loisega is always a guy that really intrigues me for a little guy he has that great breaking ball he's throwing 96 97 98 miles an hour I know the Yankees look at him as a very important weapon you look at Nick Nelson. That's a name that within the Yankee organization, they talk a lot about him and how he came in last year and wasn't flustered. And then a kid who got a taste of it last year, but who they also really like, Miguel Yohore. That's another youngster to keep an eye on. All right, guys, we're going to take.